Bokit Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. There is breaking news that is coming uh, out of Iraq, and that is the Turkish uh, military has striking what they claim to be PKK targets in northern Iraq. Uh, Turkish fighter jets there, their F-16s, there have been, I think, as many as 13, according to uh, the uh, RT News uh, reporting there it says Reuters actually states that at least 13 Turkish fighter jets reportedly took part in this operation. The army hit shelters, caves, ammunition depots used by the PKK fighters in northern Iraq in areas near the town of Simdenli. In Hakaraya province of southeast Turkey, the statement from the Turkish military said uh, Turkey believes the P PKK uh, Kurdistan Workers' Party is a terrorist organization, and Ankara has blamed the Kurdish separatist group for a number of recent terrorist attacks in the country. The, Tur the Turkish PKK military repeatedly hit PKK targets in northern Iraq in recent months uh, there. Russia uh, also sided with Iraq when Iraq demanded uh, before, and this has been a little while back now, that the Turks leave their country. They were not welcome there. They were not invited there. And the odd thing is, is the Kurds have always been a U.S. ally, but the Turkish people are continually to attack, bomb, and mutilate, murder, and genocide the Kurdish people, both in its own province as well as outside its borders. And of course, they are claiming that it is the Kurds that are behind some of the suicide bombings inside Ankara, uh, yet we don't really know the proof for this. It could even be ISIS militants doing it as ISIS is doing it inside of Europe, uh, but yet they do blame the Kurds for all the woes and evils that are happening in Turkey. Unfortunately, all the woes and evil are happening on the Kurdish people. I'd like to share with you, though, from the, uh, from the uh, Tanakh, we have in the book of Nahum, uh, two different prophecies, one in chapter 2, the other one in chapter 3. Uh, and we are seeing these prophecies come to pass right before our eyes. But Nineveh hath been from of old a pool of water, yet they flee away, stand, stand, but none looketh back. Take ye the spoil of silver, take the spoil of gold, for there is no end of the storehouse rich with all the precious vessels. She is empty and void and waste, and the heart melteth and the knees smite together, and convulsions is in the loins, and the faces of them all have gathered blackness. Now, what's interesting is ISIS fulfilled this particular par, uh, part of the scriptures regarding Nineveh. They did come in, they ransacked the country. Uh, or the city of Nineveh, uh, right there on the uh, border of Mosul, right the, water, the river that separates the two. Uh, and they, they did steal all the treasures and the furniture and things like that, and they've been sold on the black market, even some of it ending up in Britain as well as other parts of the world. Uh, but what's, what we find now, though, is that when we go to chapter 3, now, by the way, if you're looking at the King James Version Bible, this may be one verse off, back up one verse uh, and it should uh, be more consistent with your Bible there, but this is a Tanakh version from mechonmamory.org uh, is where we're reading from here. And it shall come to pass, uh, chapter 3, verse 7, All they that look upon thee shall flee from thee, and say, Nineveh is laid waste. Who will bemoan her? Whence shall I seek comforters for thee? I think Turkey is the very one that is fulfilling the prophecy of laying it totally waste. Now with their bombing campaign, and it's not just limited to Nineveh or Mosul, they are looking for the Kurds anywhere they possibly can, and they are bombing them, uh, and no one is coming to their aids, and yet uh, the United States always said that that was their ally. It is a shame to see a people be genocide in such a way, and yet no one is seeming to help them. And yet it has been the Kurds who have been the greatest uh, force, uh, even according to the United States military and the government there, that has been helping in the stopping of ISIS. But it only goes to show that the ones that are the most effective against ISIS becomes the enemy of those that are really supporting ISIS. And unfortunately, the U.S. has been known right along with Turkey to be supporters of ISIS. And this uh, theft of the oil from Syria uh, has been uh, thanks to ISIS and Turkey being a great uh, involved in this. And so they cannot have the Kurds disrupting this incredible oil wealth that they are getting out of this region. It's very much a shame to see that. Uh, and, and unfortunately, 
it seems that no one is coming to the aid of the Kurdish people. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and have a good day.